Hello and welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Why is this show called this, you may ask? So I'll tell you. The accepted meaning of angel is messenger and the accepted meaning of destiny is to make firm establish. So my guests and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And of course, I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now, in a moment, I will introduce you to my wonderful guest, Nicole. And I'm not going to pronounce her surname because I'm not going to... Uh... Can I do it? <laughs> Go on, you do it. Me today? Yep. But before that, I would like to say thank you so much for watching the show live at a later date, as it means a lot to both me and Nicole for you to, um, for us to be able to connect with like-minded people. Yeah. Now, if you've never met me before, then my name is Ray, and I'm a guide who helps you remember your divine presence so that you can heal your past, create your future, and transform your present to expand your consciousness, understand your spiritual path, and take charge of your destiny so you can fulfill your purpose. I'm the founder of Radiant Angel Energy, and through divine presence and everything else I offer, I guide you to remember why you are here, your spiritual path, and the clarity of the next steps to take to fulfill your purpose. Now, each episode of this show covers various themes of your journey, a mini guide meditation and or angel oracle card, with the reading, with the wisdom of, the, of my wonderful guests, like today's guest, Nicole about working with not just universal energy, but your own energy as well to heal and bring in abundance. Yeah. Now, Nicole is a teacher, mentor in consciousness. She's highly intuitive and a natural healer. Nicole is all about working with energy, frequency and vibrations, connecting you with your higher self, angels and guides. Now, these are the daily practices that she does herself after walking a heavy path alone to learn and grow, to realize her divine mission in this lifetime. So without further delay, hello, Nicole, and welcome to the Angels and Destiny show. How are you today? Well, Ray, first, uh, thank you for, uh, for being your guest. I'm really honored to be here, and uh, I'm excited also. Uh, yeah, what you told, uh, yeah, that's true. And uh, working with energy, yeah. Yeah, it's which something- we will- it's something uh, I felt all my life. I mean, which, be- which we will get into in a minute. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So before we get into this fascinating conversation, I want to remind you that not only can you share this video, but you can also ask questions, leave comments, thoughts, as both Nicola and I want to be part of this conversation. So please don't be shy. And Keith is already okay. here and he says, good evening, praying you both well. Thank good you for, for joining us, Keith. Ah, um, oh, there you go. He loves the lone wolf. Uh, Lone Wolf Borg energy is beautiful to do as well. So, um, Nicole, why don't you tell us more about your journey and how we can work, not just with universal energy, but our own energy as well to heal and bring in abundance? Yeah, well, my own journey. Uh, I will keep it short because it's uh, it's been a while. (laughs) It's been a long road. But, yeah, like he said, uh, the road alone uh was heavy but it is the most uh grateful time of my life uh even though um yeah you you have a have a little bit of, yeah you go through your layers of struggle and pain and you uh clean up your ancestral uh cycles um but yeah i was uh born as a highly sensitive girl um in an in an environment who was uh, there was always fear and um, I grew up as a little girl of just, um, yeah, how do you call that? <laughs> um, I knew that I knew I felt what everybody expected from me. So I felt what they need. So I adjust myself. And I did that for a very long time until I couldn't anymore. And uh, I chose myself. And that's a, that's a short <laughs> cut that I'm t- taking now, but I all, uh, uh, I felt so many times there was more and more and more, but what is it? And you're interested in, um, uh, yeah, angels and, and, and witches and magic. And of course, and where does it come from? So you get, you, you're going to read about it. Are you going to take a Reiki course? Uh, are you going to read books? I, I read all the books in the beginning from uh, yeah, Doreen Virtue. I know uh, she's not doing that yeah. <laughs> right now anymore. <laughs> but that was the start. And uh, yeah, I, I in 2012, I started working with the angels. 
and uh, I felt them. Um, yeah, I was really in love. Like yeah, when you first find out there is so much more. Um, well, and then it went down a little bit because um, yeah, I also have uh, two children. So sometimes that um, that life comes a little bit, uh, yeah, goes a little bit. Uh, awry. Arrive, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sometimes it's searching for words because I'm thinking That's in okay. Dutch. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then my daughter said one day, Mom, you're a little bit grumpy. Why aren't you going to work with the angel, angels again? Because then you're much happier. And yeah. <laughs> And she was young. <laughs> so I think, yeah, that's it. Because, uh, well, when you go inside and you, you have the connection, you feel, of course, much happier because you know, and that's your home base. So, uh, well, a few years later, um, I went through a divorce and I, I chose for that because, uh, yeah, I had to evolve myself. I had to go on. And it was, um, I have a choice, but it was really good for everybody. And uh, that's when my real journey started, my healing journey for myself. And that is, yeah, going through the pains and going through the layers and feeling the energy and uh, really cry, cry, cry. Most people cannot cry. I cry every day. And I cannot stop that because I cry holy tears. And I can say it now, but I can't tell that to yeah to other people because they think you <laughs> a little bit weirdo. But uh, you know, I can I can tell that here. So that's so fine, so great. Um, yeah. yeah. And then I, uh, of course, you develop um, more knowledge, wisdom from yourself. Uh, you, I'm, I'm reading. Uh, uh, two courses, um, yeah, and I felt more and more and more energy, and I knew that I, I also did um, integrated um, energy master, integrated energy therapy, but I also uh, feel that everything comes from within me, so I don't need rules or every, anything to adjust my energy to people because it comes natural to me. And that's a real gift. And I'm very, very grateful for that. And I also know now that it's through my voice and my hands. And yeah, I just yeah, embody the energy so I can help others with that. And now I'm uh, at, at, yeah, at the end of my journey. Of course, it's not the end, but now it's time to teach others what I've learned during my spiritual journey, because the spiritual journey, um, you have certain lessons you have to learn, universal lessons, uh, to be ready to teach. And you, yeah, you also stay the student, of course, until you die. But now I know uh, how to integrate that and to help other people with that. And yeah, I know it's all about energy. And then I come to the energy point. Um, everything is, of course, energy. And I'm talking about universal energy, but also your own energy. And everything you say and think, you put out into your energy field. So you create what you get to see in your reality. And that's sometimes a hard one when you're feeling down and you think, oh, well, did I create that? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. But you also can turn that around. And um, maybe before I go too far right now, because in my mind, I'm going like, we <laughs> <laughs> I want to share so much. Um, OK. Like, uh, I want to say, OK. It's just just allow whatever. There, there, there is so much going on in my mind. I, I, I can okay. see in the and the energies at the moment are just so yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Energy, balance yourself. I think that that's a good thing to start with. Um, taking care of yourself and your energy fields because you don't know what you're getting uh around you when you walk down the street 
Yeah, there are energies coming in your space. Sometimes you feel it, sometimes you don't. But if you're very sensitive, you you feel it and you come home and you think, hmm, I don't feel that good. And this morning I feel I feel I felt great. Because sometimes it's not your energy. Then it's time to cleanse yourself by uh, just your intention. You can say, uh, okay, I'm sending uh, all the energy from other people or situations back to them. Return to sender, simple as that. Also, you can take shower just to, to cleanse away the energy. You can ground yourself uh, by uh, also um, putting water to your wrists or barefoot in the na in nature, uh, cutting cords. You can ask our Archangel Michael for that, but also you can do that yourself. Just ask, cut all the cords, attach to me in all lengths of time, in it from any situation or person. Thank you so much. It, it's, yeah, it's an example, but you, I do that every day and sometimes several times because I just feel a lot. And that's also important to, to cleanse your house. Just your intention is also enough because everything you say and think is energy. So also the intention is energy. So that happens. Yeah. Yeah, I've got, um, if I want to uh, clear energy, say like I'm in a, uh, uh, on a bus, say, yeah. and, and yeah. you know, and it's not that brilliant. Um, I'll see Phil Imagine Intent that there's a whirlwind going through, gathering all the um, negative energy and just um, transmuting it into nothingness. Yeah, yeah. And, that, and, and it's amazing because you, you actually do see people suddenly on the bus, something kind of like, you know, sit out, you know, just that little bit straighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. That's, that's, that's a good thing. Mm. But, but again, as you said, it's the intention yeah, that, that really, um, when you work with the energy, that really puts it out there. So, so you, ha well, I suppose, obviously, you have to be really careful with, with all, with all the thoughts, you know, because you can put out negative energy and thoughts yeah. out there. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I do that every day. But sometimes I also have. Uh, you're not every day uh, positive. That's it's also human like. I want to be, but yeah, there comes the song fall forth and you think, oh no, I'm definitely not go there. And then hey, you, you can send it away, but sometimes it just comes out. And that that's yeah, um this program and it's daily it's a daily job to work on that. Yeah. And, but I yeah. also think it's when you notice it as well. Yeah. So so you become aware of it and you notice it and you can kind of like go. Oh, okay. I need to cancel, clear, delete that energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do that, and I say, "Oh, Nicole, that was not a nice thing to say." <laughs> I think I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, but yeah, that that's okay, and I laugh about it, and that's fine. But yeah, yeah th th those are little things just to um, uh, just to help people. Yeah, to help people, but they're not. They, just they have to be aware of what they're doing. And it's so big and it's, there is so much more. And if you really, really know and yeah, let it sink in that what it does to you when you think and speak, um, what it really does for your environment and for yourself, first of all, for yourself, what you send out, you get back. And it's not, yeah, it's easy, easy set, but you have, you have to do it and you have to see it. And just like you said, you have to acknowledge what you, what you are doing and what you're feeling and then accept that, that you created that yourself. Besides, yeah. beside the, the soul contracts, of course, we have to play out the lessons we, yeah, we're supposed to learn when we, before we, uh, what? um before we go but it's really, yeah. yeah but but it's really yeah but it is really interesting and i think that's sometimes what people struggle with is acknowledging that i may have caused through yeah. my thoughts through my energy i may have caused this situation to me and i think that is something that's so so hard for us as humans to, yeah. to actually grasp of course that's really really hard but um 
yeah, when you learn to work with that and you can accept it um, and sit with it also, yeah, it so will become easier. Yeah. So, so how, how do you kind of like, you know, how would you kind of like sit, sit with it or? If you feel, if you feel down, if you, you know, okay, mm. um, you have, you have those energies. Now you can cleanse them, of course. And if the feeling stays, you can look at it and say, and think, okay, where is it coming from? And then you go through your layers. Of course, there is, the, is there a trigger that, uh, that hurts you? go to that and just acknowledge that it's there because it wants to be seen if you if you ignore it all the time and it then it will become bigger and bigger and bigger okay so yes. so so did you find that happen to you um through your journey that yeah, there was yeah. stuff that came up and you kind of like go no i'm not going there i'm not going there and it just got worse and worse yeah 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 i had that yeah but now I know um, I released all of that. So uh, when sometimes you have trigger, but it doesn't hurt anymore, but you, you, feel, you still feel something and you think, okay, and now you can turn it around. And now it takes, takes maybe uh, half an hour and then it's gone. And in the early days, it took days before it was gone. So that's the difference and that's the learning process. Okay, yeah, that's interesting. And I suppose we are always, there. Um, as we go along, we are always learning, um, yeah. you know, ev everything that goes about it. And, you know, with the with the energy um, things as as well, it's it's recognizing the energy that, that's out there. I mean, I've just, uh, um, uh, it, it came up in my field again, um, is the Celestine Prophecy yeah um you, you know and i've been looking for it on um for ages to watch it on youtube because i've never seen the film i've, I've read the, the 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 book um i've read i've mm -hmm. read all of the books you know and that and i actually read the celestine prophecy when i went on my life-changing journey to peru it was a yeah. book i took with me I, I came across in a second hand shop you know there's loads of synchronicities that they'll be going to peru and then obviously yeah. this book was yeah. in the was was in the shop but i'd always wanted to uh uh, see see the film and someone had, and again this is synchronicities and energy following on from energy is somebody mentioned about um you know oh what was your your inspirational book so i put in the celestine prophecy and then lo and behold the next day someone posted i've just um watched the celestine prophecy on youtube yeah, yeah. and i'm like i've been looking for that for ages and yeah. it's free on youtube at the moment so i watched it and then i uh, reread the book and i'm now rereading um, the books again so it's like okay I need to take re-look at that and the further I've gone on yeah. now, now when I read it I read it completely different to how yeah. I did when I first started yeah. which I which are um you know do, do you find that often happens as you start working with energy and stuff yeah. that yeah. when you go back to things they're different yes because because you're growing and then they're Sometimes you have a book and you and you read it and you think, oh well, second chapter, well, it's not for me. And a year later, you get the book and you think, wow, and that's the same because then you evolved through another level. So you can you can understand, you can see it, you can hear it, you can feel it. And before you weren't ready for that part, or your consciousness wasn't wasn't ready yet. And that's the, that's the whole journey course yeah and, um also with synchronicities what you're talking about uh things uh are going on your path like seeing uh, double numbers angel numbers and and uh, white feathers and um you know everything is is in your vortex in, is, is in your energy field because you put it there we have so many so many things in our energy field for 20 lifetimes i guess so um yeah you have to um that's not a part of course if you want to manifest things that what you you see yeah i see 21 21 now at the screen <laughs> <laughs> uh synchronicities but uh, if you want to manifest things you have to uh, be in the same vibration eh? like uh to let it come to you 
And that's the most difficult thing for people right now, also to understand what, what is it? What is it? And it's really hard to explain also. Yeah. The only thing I know, um, and that, that takes also time and work, is to be really, really grateful. Grateful for all you have and grateful for the little things and uh, be humble, uh, set your boundaries um, and love. Yeah. Those are, those are the highest vibrations you can be in. And that, that's when you see, when you, your ego gets less, the doors will open. Yeah. Yeah. So, so how can you kind of like um, work on that so that your energy does raise and your ego sort of like does kind of like take a bit of a back step to allow that positive energy to come forward? Well, I also worked really hard to uh, to change that for myself, to um, turn that around when I was conscious about that. And, you know, when you think a thought and you think you say to yourself, OK, I cannot I don't I don't want to think about that. You think it constantly because you don't want to think about it. It's like a pink elephant, right? Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, I learned to accept that too, that I thought, okay, and, and, and yeah, that takes, it took me a long time really to, to get there and still working on that, but it's getting better and better. And I, I, I listened a lot of, um, yeah, yeah, Abram Hicks, uh, uh, YouTube, uh, videos and sometimes over and over and over again, so just to let that sink in to understand what what he was talking about and of course i ask my my angels and spirit guides and uh i feel them uh, and they're making they're making me feel um yeah not at home but uh how do you call it when um when you're, not, you're not having anxiety but they're giving me peace. They're giving me peace. Yeah, that's the good word. When I when when I, I felt anxiety, then um, I, I worked on that and I asked them, and then then I felt them. And that when you feel it, it gives me peace, rest, feelings of rest, peace. Yeah. And then you think, okay, and that's and then you have to trust. You have to learn to trust and believe. And because we are programmed uh, to just, um, yeah, to do what we learned, what we have learned from our parents or from school, it's, yeah, it's difficult to undo that. So, so that, that's the constant work we have to do. Yeah. And do you find that, um, you know, working with clients, it's easier for you to help clients yeah. resolve those issues than it is for you to kind of like it takes it's a bit longer for you but it's easier when you're working with clients yeah it's easier with, when you work with clients um you see directly what of your feel what 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 is going on and um yeah it's it's almost all, always about rejection we all we all we all we all have that wound so uh, it's about self-love, self-love and, and confidence. Learn to, to love yourself and have self-confidence. Yeah, so, so important. So important. It's, it's the most important thing because uh, if you don't have that, uh, you always are wear, wearing a mask. And yeah, I know that too. And because, yeah, and, and, and just talking like this about angels in public, wow. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I know not a lot of people. They say uh, who who said uh, I went to training with them, and they said, "Yeah, I believe that too, and I feel it too." But I can't cannot talk about it. Oh, and it's not done. And I think, yeah. But you know, if you um, if you put that down, it it becomes harder and harder and harder. Well, it, it comes out one way or the other. It can take one year, can take two years or three or longer, but universe is going to push you until you make that choice 
Oh yeah, it uh, it totally is. I'm, I mean, I, I've been lucky, you know. I because of the background I come from, I've been, you know, I've always talked about this stuff. You know, I I could be in the middle of a corporate meeting, and you know, I'd bring in unicorns or yeah, 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 yeah. great, great, you, great. You know, um, yeah. but that's but that, but again, that's because of the background I come from. So. Mm -hmm. So, so again, I suppose the energy that we pick up from when we are children, from our parents, yeah. from siblings, from peers, etc., that really does have an effect on our energy as we get older with how we experience and we interact with the world. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And that, if anyone's got any questions um, that's watching, then please do... Uh, Please do ask. Um, and hi, Natasha, for being here. Hi, Natasha is an old colleague from me. Thank um, you, dear, for being yeah. with me, with, with us. <laughs> yeah. And uh, thank you for uh, speaking to Johnny for us. Yeah. Well, I send Johnny uh, lots of love and wisdom. Yep. Yeah, I've uh, literally, as soon as it was like, let's just send him some love and some, yeah. <laughs> some, 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 en some energy out there. Um, uh, yeah. uh, for that so as you know i do um guided meditations and angel oracle cards um so each week i like to ask my guests if they would like me to do a mini guide meditation or pull an angel oracle card for themselves and the audience who are watching live or the replay so nicole what would you like me to do oh i watch uh, uh, an oracle reading card because a uh, healing yeah i know that but uh I have 35 decks myself just because <laughs> I like it. <laughs> so, so, so do I. Um, yeah, it is. It's it's amazing how um, cards just uh, come. You know, when I run retreats down in Glastonbury, I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm, you know, I'm not going to. And then suddenly, I always come back with uh, with 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 at least one one deck yeah, yeah, of cards. Yeah. Um, I think I think one time I went down there and I did have a specific deck in mind. And I found it in one of the shops, and but I didn't buy it straight away. Um, and uh, oh, hi Graham! Hi thanks, Graham! Thanks for uh, joining us. Um, we're talking about energy. If you've got any questions you want to ask about energy, um, and uh, yeah, I uh, and I ended up walking into the goddess shop down there, and I spotted a, 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 a deck. I ended up buying two of this woman's decks because. It was kind of like, oh, and that came to the same oh, price as that yeah, big other day. Yeah, I have to have it. <laughs> I know. It, it, it's, 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 ama it's amazing um, uh, with that. So let's see what the cards want to uh, want to say for you and everyone watching. So as always, when I do the cards, I do them for what you need to know for the present. So although I work with the past, when we work on the past, we clear and heal the past so it doesn't affect our present. Mm -hmm. And when I take people into the future, it's so they know and understand their pres their future so they can be fully present in the here and now. So what does Nicole and everyone who's watching this live or the replay? Okay, we'll go with that one then, shall we? So we have got solitude. In silence, peace prevails. How beautiful an act yeah. Yeah. Is, is that, especially with, as we were talking earlier, yeah. Um, before the show about the energies that are coming in at the moment um, because obviously with the Lionsgate portal and everything we've got all this this energy um, coming in and you're yeah. uh, you know we're both saying though know, feeling yeah. restless and loads of stuff and everything so what it's saying to you Nicole and everyone watching and to me of course literally is that we need to take that time now that yeah. that solitude to actually even if our mind is racing, it's just to sit in silence and allow those thoughts just to go, um, come through, you know, and just let them go. Yeah. And we have that, to listen. Yeah, just to allow us to uh to to actually take take that in. And Graham says, auric energy in resonance with our inner spirit connection plus earth magnetic re yeah, resonances. Yeah. We yeah. felt you felt it. Yeah. And Feeling that, yeah. Not counting that which flows from the universe. Yeah, there's there's lots and lots going on um at the moment. But you know, the angels are saying, you know, take that time, 
to just be in that peace, in that quiet, yeah. in that silence and just let things come in um, and not actually fight against them or try and push them away. No, 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 I don't push it away. I just welcome them because I know it's, it's beautiful right now. And sometimes it's, uh, yeah, you have to accept and um, know that there's, there's a lot going on and we're all doing this for the collective because uh, we need it. Yeah. Yeah, totally. So that leads nicely on to um, whether you have any insights or thoughts of last words of wisdom to leave our viewers, Nicole. Well, um, I think it's really important to uh, try to get rid of your fear because it's not necessary. And uh, Try to, yeah, meditate maybe a few minutes a day. Be quiet. Try to be quiet. And if you say, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't. Then, but just try it. it. Nothing is wrong. There is no good or, 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 or bad. Just try to be quiet your mind and uh, focus on yourself. Not on the outside world, but on, your, on yourself. Yeah. On your inner world. So you can feel the love of the angels and uh, and the your inner being, your soul. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful words. Thank you so much for that. Um, and Graham is saying, please don't feed in, she's negative, my friend, yeah. smile and let it flow. Although, Graham, I noticed that you used the word flow and you didn't say let it go, let it let go. It go into the flow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nicole, sing that again for me. Let it go. Let it go into the flow. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and Graham's laughing. And the reason Graham's laughing is because Graham and I do a show called Angels and Spirits once a month. Oh, where, great. Where we do live <laughs> readings. And I have a habit when, when any of you only says let it go, I start singing that. And Graham will never ever sing it. So I've just proved oh. that I guess that somebody else can sing it. There you go. Yeah, there you that's go. great. I'll get you singing it one day, just one day. Um, anyway, I hope that everyone you've enjoyed this conversation and found it insightful as I know I have. Now, yeah. Nicole, if people want to connect with you, how do they do that? Uh, they can connect with me uh, through my Facebook or my uh, website uh, through www.nicolefreesok.com or uh, Instagram. I have TikTok or LinkedIn and just all, yeah, everything is on, under my name. So, um, yeah. Yeah. And I'm sorry for uh, for the, the the wobbly English sentences because uh, yeah sometimes when you're alone you think wow I'm going to talk about this and all about that but yeah no it's 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 that it's that it's absolute perfect you know and as I said before you know I don't speak any other language so the fact that you can you're actually um, you know able to you know to speak practically you know fairly good English. Um, with only a few words here and there that, yeah. that, you, that you've done. It's absolutely <laughs> brilliant. I, grammatic, grammatically, uh, yeah. I, I, <laughs> I, 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 ah, Graham, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks, Graham. Just, just yeah. remember, just, yeah. just remember. And what I'll do is I will post the, um, all the links to Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, um, your website um, on the comments at the end of the show so that if people want to care for you they just literally need to um, go go into them and of course if you are now ready to remember your divine presence and step onto your spiritual multidimensional path but you feel lost confused stuck or lost or alone then please feel free to connect with me and we can see where you are now and how you can move forward to take charge of your destiny so you can spread your wings and soar Yes, Graham. <laughs> Graham is yeah. yeah. He he's for he's from uh, up north in England, and he now lives in Florida. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I think I speak a mix of English and Americans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you sound good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, please feel free to join my weekly newsletter and receive a free future life progression recording to discover your destiny by singing into your future to get guidance and clarity that you can use in your current life, as well as a couple of other free gifts. 
Um, and again, I'd like to thank everyone so much for watching, um, especially those that said hello and commented. And I'd like to invite you to share this video as I'm sure there are more people who feel lost and want to get clear on their destiny, just like you. Yeah. And of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, then please feel free to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified of when this show goes live or I post new guide meditations, you know, and check out Nicole's um, uh, YouTube channel and, you know, subscribe and like, you know, every subscription and like and comment really does help with the algorithm um, yes. on, on the system. And Graham, your energy is the best language when allowed unlimited freedom. Yes, that's true. That is very true. You are so wise sometimes, Graham. <laughs> she says anyway again thank you so much nicole for being no. for coming to be a guest on my show i've uh, thoroughly enjoyed talking to you yeah, and, thank you ah uh, you're welcome and thank no you problem. again to everyone watching who joined in um yeah, yeah sometimes I <laughs> and i look forward to you all joining me same time same place next week take okay. care everyone thank bye you. bye bye